let marriage be honored by you all. Today we honor Sam and Sophie and the promises that you're making together today. But we honor the Lord too. And we want the Lord to be central uh, today and for the rest of your lives. Sophie and Sam, a story of an Irish lass and English lad. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for coming to share this special day with us. And a special welcome and a thank you for the effort to all who have come from England, Northern Ireland, Ireland, Shetland and also Switzerland. What can I say about Sophie? Well, let me see now. She's not too big for a start. We all know who she takes that after. <laughs> but a lot of Sophie's traits do, I'm afraid, Sam, come from me. Like her temper, for one. <laughs> and when she thinks she's right, not backing down. However, you are fortunate that good traits come from her mother like organising today. I could not have done such a good job as this. It might be a lot cheaper though. <laughs> uh, Sophie has always from a young age chosen her friends very carefully. A one friend she has chosen from a very young age is the Lord Jesus Christ. And with him at her side, I have my wife, Jill, have never had to worry too much about Sophie. Sophie is thoughtful and kind, and being her oldest child was always watching out for her younger siblings. She is the wisest one of the bunch. This wedding was absolutely one I was so excited and so looking forward to doing because Sam and Sophie are two people who mean an awful lot to both Naomi and I. Um, I remember when I first met Sam, or certainly have the first memory of Sam, and I remember one of the first things that Sam said to me as the new youth pastor in Fraserburgh. He said, Danny, if there is anything I can do to serve, just let me know. And I'm sure we'd all agree, as Ben has already said, that's almost a signature for Sam's life, that he has a heart and a desire to serve other people over and above himself. And Sophie, I remember you as a girl in our youth group, as Ben said, with this strong, thick Northern Irish accent, despite being born and raised in Scotland. And I just believe this, that if this couple can build their lives and their future on a strong desire to serve God and a desire to root their lives in the Word of God, there is no limit as to what God can do in and through you. And we're believing for great things.
I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Sam and Sophie have given and receiving rings and have said their vows to each other. What God has put together, let no man separate. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. happiest man on the planet. I just think he looked absolutely beautiful. I always joke that you were the one that made the first move, you were the one that fancied me first, and all these different things. But I'm going to settle the score straight just now. I was the initiator of all these things, and, and I was thinking I would do it all over again to be back at this place. I'm just a very privileged person to have you as my wife.